back to my channel. It's your girl Nizzy Mac and I'm back on the Trizac. Thanks for dropping in you guys. So today's video is about this wig that I got on. This is a synthetic wig y'all. It's been like a long time since I've done a synthetic wig review but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. This new job that I got is so time consuming and it's mentally exhausting and draining and like i'm really i'm trying to hang in there y'all so hang in there with me okay we're gonna get into this wig you guys this one i had to style her for me to like it i didn't like it how she came so yeah anyways let's go ahead and get into it if you guys are new here make sure you give this video a big thumbs up also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever it is that your girl posts okay today's wig was provided to me by sam's beauty girl i love sam's beauty okay they always have the new releases and they have everything in stock and they also have like a little beauty supply section too if you're needing like um ebon things and you know wig tools and and sprays and stuff like that so check out Sam's Beauty. Of course, the link will be listed down in the description, Bizox, okay? This is part of Outre's Melted Hairline Series collection or whatever. This is Elisa or Elisa. Um, I have it in the color DRFF4 Hazelnut Honey. And it says it's 22 inches. Um, that's not 22 inches to me. That's giving 16. That's because it's hitting my boob, but okay you know whatever you guys say um it's not given 22 inch i don't know why they would say that anyways it has the frontal effect hairline so yes i do have it glued down from ear to ear and it does come pre-plucked and it comes with baby hairs y'all this wig has an elastic band inside of it you get three combs two in the temple and then one in the back the wig size cap is really good and the lace is super stretchy you guys so lace is super stretchy and the knots are really small on this so it looks like it's a human hair wig because you can you can do some things with this one unfortunately this specific one is a part only so um it's always gonna have this part unless you kind of like um cover it up or whatever but uh, you only get to do like the lace from ear to ear so it's best to leave it you know as it is because I see I had to style it as the part or whatever which is fine it still looks cute but I just was not feeling it how it came out of the box y'all like I don't know if it's the color I don't know it was just like too wiggy and it's like it wasn't wiggy because the hairline is melted it's just kind of like this part um like the part it looks wiggy i don't know how to explain it and like this it's very bulky in this area so um it just was looking wiggy y'all so i had to style her because i'm not i wasn't like i'm tired of like not liking wigs so i'm deciding to if i don't like a wig i'm gonna make myself like it okay so i do like this style that i have it in um i just would not recommend this one it's really not one of my favorites, but you know, that's okay. That's why we're here to talk, okay? Um, this one comes in a bunch of colors, y'all. Um, it's It's got a bunch of like chunky colors. They even have um, a blonde 613 color. They got golden honey, Cajun spice, 99J color. Really cute, y'all. So this one, um, yeah, let's talk about it. So I did melt it in. Um, I um I did pluck the hairline just a tiny. I'm talking about just a tiny bit. Um, I was trying not to do too much to it, but I did at the same time know that I needed to pluck it just a little bit for my liking. But um, if you're like not against plucking or whatever, you definitely don't need to pluck it with this one. This uh, the Outre Melted Hairline series like requires no plucking. I just like a certain look, you know. I, I really wanted it to give skin, okay? Um, so it's it's giving. The lace is really soft, y'all. Like it, I think it's they said it's Swiss lace, I think. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, it says transparent lace HD. Um, so yeah, it cut easily. I was able to pluck the hairs out without like ripping the lace and tugging everything. Last time I had one of these melted hairline uh, wigs, I like tore the lace. Like it's really soft, so be careful. Um, and I know from experience, I almost tore that lace up. So be careful. I, I didn't tear it this time, but I'm just saying. But the hair on this is really soft, y'all. Like it's soft from from the ends to the roots or whatever um this color that i got it's really different for me i usually do like browns and oranges um but i decided to try the honey blonde and switch it up just a little bit 
I'm honestly not a fan of this color on me. I, I just be trying to switch it up. I, I know what it looks good on me, but at the same time, I don't want to have 50,000 videos in just a black wig, you know? So I switched up the color. I would, I would probably wear this if it was like um, a chocolate brown color. That's more my my thing, but it's not bad, okay? And it'll, I'm sure it'll look cute on you guys, so yeah. Big glue this down, y'all. Um, I did have to tug the ear tabs just a little bit because um, this wig, is, it's not, not big hair friendly, but the lace is like kind of cutting short so I had to tug it a little bit but that's okay you know it got it got on and it's it's laid or whatever for now I just I feel like it's pulling <laughs> but um this was like a super easy install y'all I didn't even do no baby hairs I just kind of cut you know these little ear tabs ones I cut them um, but I didn't even lay them down or anything you don't really need any baby hairs with this look because it's just like yeah, you don't always need baby hairs, um, but when you when I do, I'm gonna do them, okay? <laughs> but y'all, honestly, this wig, I would give this wig um, a seven or an eight out of 10. Um, it's just really wiggy in my opinion, and um, I just am not sure, you know? I'm not sure. I even tried to style it like the model had behind her ear, and then not, either way, I just wasn't, feeling it it's too bulky it's too bulky and the part the part y'all let me tell y'all about the part i don't know if i mentioned because i did i did pluck it and i cut the lace off camera before i um installed it because i've been trying to prep these wigs like i said this new job i got is wearing me dry and i have to like do things kind of differently a little bit but i hope y'all i hope that's okay you know um but yeah i did pluck it off camera and stuff but when i was doing this uh the part usually i like plucked apart or like um uh put the hot comb to it to flatten it down y'all this part came like super straight like y'all see that i don't know if i can zoom in but it just looks real fake like real fake i don't know i mean it doesn't it doesn't look bad you know, from a, a distance and stuff like that. But, oh my God, these, these lashes that I got on. Okay, anyways, yeah, part just really comes really straight. I get what they were trying to do because most of the time, you do, sometimes with these synthetic wigs, you do need to like pluck the part so that it's a clear path. But this, I feel like it's too clear, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of like, this whole section like it really missed the mark to me and that's why i had to style it because it, it i needed this to come up or something like it just wasn't it wasn't doing it for me but honestly yeah that's my honest opinion on this one you guys this one is not bad at all you kind of will need to play with it a little bit and make sure you get a color that complements your skin tone but other than that the hair is soft um there is a there is a, a quite a bit of hair that i'm pulling out y'all in this one i think it's because i plucked it so i'm not gonna like clock it for a shedding or whatever but um it's super soft and i've been using my um my unbrush that i got my unbrush brush that i got from the tiktok shop and y'all it does synthetic wigs so good like if you don't have this brush you need to get it because i use it i use it for my locks i use it for my wigs i use it on my girlfriend's hair y'all this is like the bomb and, and y'all see i got the pink one gotta stay strapped with the pink girl but yeah that wraps it up for this video let me know what you guys think down in the comments is y'all feeling this girl okay let's talk about it and as always thanks for watching